Hello and welcome to another Raggy, a beer of Raggy. Uh, back in the tap room after a fantastic weekend. So I'm not doing a beer review. Um, I am drinking out of my new St. Peter's glass. Look how that stands out. Oh, belting. Big thick glass as well, good solid glass. I'm not sure if this is on the website. So uh, inquire at St. Peter's if it, if it interests you, but look at that. So this is all about my my weekend in Norfolk and Suffolk. Um, just have a drink. Room temperature, Monton's homebrew coffee porter. Absolutely bloody divine. Anyway. Um, so yeah, over on Friday, popped over to, popped over, drove down the A1 all the way down to Cambridge, to St. Neot. In fact, we came back through Cambridge today, not far away from where St. Neot is, funnily enough. It's funny how, 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 how you get dragged back on the same roads on the way back. Um, and uh, had a fantastic time down there. I'm, I've done a separate review of each of everything I've done, just so that if you're coming from other parts of the country, you can look what the experience that I've had, and you know you can make your own mind upon. Uh, and and if it encourages you to go to these places, this is what beer reviewing is about. This is what there are people uh, who do this, uh, go to breweries, the likes of Kent Beer Reviews. Uh, Hop Zine, Ginge Real Ale Trail, um, Rampant Lion, but well, he does, he does um, obviously foreign, uh, international pub, you know, visiting. And it's not all about being sat in your shed doing beer reviews. It's getting out there. Obviously, you know, I don't want to enjoy, in, uh, hamper people's, uh, what they're doing in a pub just because you're doing a bloody beer review. But talking about the places, that's what I want to bring. I want to say to people, this is what's at the pub. You know, here's my opinion of it. Um, if you're interested, I hope you have a great time like I did. And to be honest, I never have a bad time. Uh, and, you know, unless it's a lager pub. But we, I don't really tend to even talk about those on the channel, for obvious reasons. So, yeah, we went down to... Um, Smiling Grape, and uh, met Matt, the owner, and the, the, the former Guinness World Record holder for going to pubs. Uh, tell you what, not that my liver would like it, but it'd be interesting to do that, a trek round Nottingham doing the same sort of thing. Uh, although thirds and all pale ales, <laughs> low ABVs. Uh, with thirds, you could drink a good 16, but then again, half the time, they're just drinking um, orange and that. It doesn't actually say to drink uh, beer. So you can start, you can have a beer, then have a couple of oranges, and then back on the beer. And so you can actually do that. So it's, it's a clever way of doing it, to be fair. And Nottingham's got the pubs. And I'm damn sure if it was happening in Nottingham, that the pubs would all combine to to you know jump on the bandwagon as it were you know i'm sure they would um so yeah that uh, i went there got a massive beer haul from from there i think it was like 48 or 51 in total different beers and stuff picked a, a few up got three replicants uh from the good fellow Andy was coming with us, part of the Happy Drinkers. So what we are, we're a collective. There is six of us that meet up, meet up very regular. That's me, the wife, and obviously I meet the wife most days. <laughs> and then there's Lisa and Glenn, and then there's Andy and Angela. And we are the Happy Drinkers. And uh, we're doing a trawl around Nottingham. I've got the lace, the, the, the Neon Raptor area of Nottingham is certainly on the radar soon. Obviously, big year, big busy year coming up this year, so it's really tough to get things in. And obviously, I ain't rich, so, you know, there's only so much in life you can actually do. Um, I ain't even sorted out a bloody um, stag do yet. 
a, a date for it. Um, obviously, middle of June, craft beer festival. Middle of May, Castle Rock Yard party. And, uh, yeah, April, maybe a bit too soon. Maybe, maybe. Uh, it's getting the right people. There are, there's, there's core people that I want to be there because I know they'll be there. And then if other people turn up, that's great, but I'm not left on my own. Uh, possibly the end of May, maybe the key thing. But in any case, I went to Smiling Grey. What a shop, what an amazing shop. You park across, uh, across the road, put a, put a quid and you'll get an hour. Make sure you take a bloody hour as well. Uh, it's got the tap room in the back. Uh, I've done a separate Smiling Grape pub review, so I'll go into full detail on that. But, oh my gosh, if you live close, get your ass over to that shop and uh, go and treat yourself. You'll get beers. Uh, the prices are very, very good. Uh, lots of, obviously, it's an ever-changing list of beers. He's not, you know, using beers from any one brewery. Uh, he's just getting beers in. That are, you know, from whatever means, sometimes it's just bankrupt stock that he's brought because the shop's gone bankrupt, or sometimes it's breweries getting rid of beer. So he's talking to the breweries and they're wanting to offload. Fantastic for him. Obviously, he's, he wants to get them at a price, he's going to sell them, and he's a businessman like most people are. You know, they're, they're all going to make a bit of profit on it, as you would. Um, and I absolutely love his business model. I wish he was in Nottingham. And or a smiling great Nottingham. Tell you what, if there was a smiling great Nottingham with a tap room bit attached, that would be a very, very interesting um, uh, place. Very interesting. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I had a great time and well worth a visit. That's Saint the Arts. So from Saint the Arts, we went over to Saint Peter's Brewery. And it was chucking it down with rain, awful driving conditions. And the roads, uh, they're like farmers' track roads. We went around a long way though, loving sat navs. And I got into St. Peter's Brewery. Obviously, it's chucking down, so there's nobody walking about. They're obviously all in the offices. And, uh, and it's a Friday afternoon as well. So some probably have already gone home, and I won't blame them either. Uh, so I didn't really get to meet anybody from St. Peter's Brewery. I met the lady in, in the shop. I would have liked to have met people from the brewery, to be honest. But obviously, you know, uh, I am but uh, just a beer reviewer, uh, nothing else. But um, yeah, it was it was nice to see what the brewery entails. Nice to see that they're actually building the new parts of the brewery. And I found out that the eighty percent of their beer is bottled. That's surprising. Only twenty percent is either cask or keg did see the cask and kegs and again i will go into it further in my review uh so from there um we got into case to on sea uh to the haven site we paid 69 quid for friday night saturday night sunday night and then obviously we had to leave by 10 o'clock monday morning tell you what you know if you're a beer person or, or a beer you know a couple of beer people and, uh, you know, you, you've got the ability to drive to these places. I mean, you can use trains and stuff, buses. But it's a good base. It was a good base for me to, to launch my... Um, and obviously, I'm but one of a group of six. So, uh, you basically, I'm going with the flow. I mean, obviously, if there's some berry place, um, we'll, I'll suggest it. But obviously, you know... The six of us, and uh, it's not just for me to decide where people go. And I mean, we all like a drink, but not everyone wants to just walk around pubs. Um, so on the Friday night, we went up to a California tavern. Um, nine minutes. Oof. Yeah, went up to the California tavern. Had four beers on the bar there. Mr. Winters, Woodford's, and uh, Bogger. Let me just go back a few days. Luckily, 
all my social media is quite easy to find. Um, I will tell you the other people that you know, you just go to my actual social media. Go ahead then. That's it. And obviously, the, there's been a lot across social media this week, and and I love it because I'm promoting beer, I'm promoting breweries, um, spreading the good word of the beer review community uh, across the country. And you know, we for those who watch this channel, we're part of that beer review community. And by putting on your own social media feeds that you've been to pubs, tag the pubs in, tag your beers in, breweries in. If you like the beer, tag it in. Even if you, even if the beer is not your cup of tea, um, as long I find the best way, and I don't like these people who just pour a beer, and because uh, you can say a lot by just being, you know, you can get the taste you get out of the beer, and I'll tell you now that the breweries, brewers themselves, when you say you're getting a certain taste out of a beer, or the beer looks a, a different colour. They know without you having to pour the beer down a sink, or, or you know, they don't, they can just look at the beer and tell you. I know this because it's happened to me only a few weeks ago. Um, I posted a picture of a beer at a pub, and a brewery got in contact with me, with me and said that beer should have been took off. It was it was just it, it had reached the end. You know, obviously there might have been a pint or two left in the cask. But that beer was at its end. It wasn't clear as it should have been. And uh, the beer tasted great, don't get me wrong. But So they pointed to me. Now, I assumed that the beer actually should have been clear. But um, Right. So what was that brewery called? Uh Moongazer. <laughs> Looking at the bloody thing, couldn't see it. So yeah, a couple from Moongazer, Woodfords and that. Then we did the nighttime walk along the beach, Jesus Christ, uh, on this path. And uh, and I, I, I never heard of this, but apparently in the sand dunes, whether it's a summer thing and not a all year round thing, there's adders. And uh, gotta be honest, I've just realised that the snakes, and it's like fucking snakes in grass. And I was thinking of trouser snakes, but that's always a whole new different different kind of snake altogether. Um, yeah, <laughs> of all sort of all shapes and sizes, but uh, and grass snakes, obviously. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, snakes. So yeah, we walked back, and uh, it was <laughs> it was a yeah, a couple of us got wet feet because you know it had been raining on Friday quite. Uh, Heavy. And then our caravan was the obviously three couples, and our friends didn't bring their kid, uh, their two young daughters this time, so it was just Al Harry, who was the young one, bless him. And uh, yeah, we had they played games. I, we sat and drank some beer, watched a bit of TV, chilled in the evening. Um. Uh, the own brew, this coffee porter by Munson's was tasting absolutely bloody delicious. 5%, look at the head. Uh, who needs Guinness? You don't need Guinness when beer's that good that you can brew yourself for, what? 15, I got it for 12 quid, but it's normally 15 quid a tin. Pound for sugar, so 16 quid. I think it's 35 pints. So, is it, if it was 10 pounds, it'd be 150. 20 pints, it's 75 pence. 40 pints, it's 37 pence. So, you know, my brain's not with it. Uh, it's been a long day, a lot of driving. Um, so, you know, 40 odd pence, pint. For something that's tasting absolutely quality. Do need to get the other, uh, when I've got some pennies, because obviously this weekend's absolutely battered my money to, to 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 um to, to the to the coast and back should we say hey um so anyway yeah on uh, on the saturday um we went and this was the surprise for me obviously 
went to Southwold. Uh, Lisa says, uh, oh, let's go to Southwold. And it's like, uh, okay, um, Adnams is down in Southwold. So that'll be interesting. And me and Andy, uh, you know, the happy drinkers, we were both like, yeah, we'll go. Because we're all going to meet up while we're down there. Obviously, they've got a big Dalmatian, uh, Cali. So they take her for walks and, you know, then we join up together and they make her for another walk or whatever. Uh, we, have to, we have to find dog-free pubs and that's, sometimes that's a, there's a lot of lovely dog-free pubs and sometimes they're a bit miserable on that. Whoever spoons, you need to change your ways. But, um, yeah, don't cater just for the lager drinkers. But anyway, yeah. Um, went into Southwell, parked up on a street, didn't want to pay for parking. You know, got enough to pay out for, pe price petrol. Uh, walked down this street and then look one way from they don't look like there's much that way so we look the other way there's a lighthouse and i'm like oh i wonder let's head towards the lighthouse walk around the corner <laughs> bugger me the soul bay in and I'd, really, I'd already looked this up obviously and it's there adnam's tap bar and uh he bloody walks into this bar and you you'd have seen photos all over the internet um i've posted photos on on my social media on the youtube feed and over all the social media feeds that i do and uh let me tell you now oh my gosh walked in i think it was five or six cask beers six six or eight keg beers bottles in the fridge lots of adnams food and uh, I'll, I'll go into more detail on the on the pub review on the brewery yeah in fact i've already done the pub review so yeah check that out uh more detail but yeah fantastic fantastic staff because i said to one of the girl i says uh I says do you have any more bottles of this a bigger selection and she says the shop's around the corner loads there and i'm like oh oh thank you so walked out there and then all of a sudden it's like adnam's brewery across the road Adna, the, the the lighthouse, you know, that you see on Adnam's, um, I think there was a beer named after it. Walks around the corner, brewery shop. Fuck me. The best brewery shop I've ever been in. You could go in there and if you're a wine, spirits and beer fan, you could, you could spend an absolute fortune. Um... I've already, I'm already reviewing this, so I'll go into further detail um, about it, but wow, <laughs> absolutely wow, it's gobsmackingly good. Um, walked around Southwold, what an amazing town, Adnams. Adnams this weekend has shown to me that they're more than just a big brewery. They are the the centre of that community in that town. They are the breathing heart of Southwold. You've got a lovely beach there. No, I didn't see any arcades, uh, amusements, unless they were down the other end. Um, there's lots of lovely shops. Lot, you know, there's no big shops. It's all little family shops lots of good places to get good meat from veg um sausage rolls hot dogs all them sort of things and some nice pies uh some of the shops around there fucking amazing uh, you could like i say you could spend a fortune but you're getting quality you know there's something to be said for some of the expensive stuff in supermarkets which is the supermarket cream off you know make massive profits on everything and the people who make it actually make very little, as as a lot of beers that go in supermarkets. The breweries don't make a lot. Um, again, there's a hotel there called the Swan Hotel, which is Adnam's Hotel. Quite a nice posh hotel, to be fair. A uh, little bit pricier than the Soul Bay Inn, so watch your pennies. Uh, but nice posh hotel, so if you go into Southwold to get the full Adnam's experience, wow. Uh, there's the Lord Nelson. That was a bit busier. I think that was more of a cask. Uh, a lot more kids in there. I actually prefer the Swan because it was a bit quieter. Um, 
So I didn't go in that pub. I didn't have a beer in there. Hence, I have not done a beer review from. I've not done a pub review in that pub, and you won't see any beer reviews from in there. I should have done really. It would have. I could have had a pint in there, but we didn't. So it is what it is. Can't go to every pub, can you? Uh, and it's all Adnan's anyway. So there's nothing different on the bar than I've already had. Um, but the streets around there, amazing. Well, and like I say, uh, the old Southwold place was just stunning, stunning. So then we got home on, on, on the Saturday night, and again, uh, we had another night uh, drinking beers. Uh, the ladies were playing. Dog was fast asleep, kipping on the <laughs> settee. She was knackered. They were playing games and uh, just drinking beer and chilling. And uh, then yesterday, um, went to Great Yarmouth. Walked along, we're a week before the season starts. Lots of empty shops, gotta say. Um, big Weatherspoons there. I did actually have two halves in Weatherspoons, only because we had a little bit of time before the bus come. Uh, I did not mention Weatherspoons because I don't agree with what they are. I, I agree that for elderly people, for people on low wages and low money, it's a place to go to and spend a bit of money on beer. I get that. The way they treated their staff and the way they are to the brewery scene uh, isn't the greatest. But each to their own. You know, you can either go there and, you know, people do what people do. No one should tell you what, yeah, what to do. You know, I don't like being told what to do. So I don't, I'm not going to tell anybody else what, they, what to do. It's like where you shop from. I mean, there are certain uh, craft beer forums on, on Facebook that uh, you mention a supermarket and you know, the piss is took out of you some chronic. And uh, is that an elitist thing? Fuck the elitist. You know, I don't, I don't do elitist. Yeah, not all of us have got a lot of money to spend. And a lot of us, are, I mean, I've saved up for a good three months to 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 actually spend some money this weekend on beers and pay for this weekend. Um, so, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, and we're still paying for the wedding and other things as well. So it's crazy. It's just like, we're just flowing money out. It's like money comes in and take it. Take, we don't want it, take it. But, and we still haven't got the car sorted. Another bone of contention, but there you go. So, um, yeah, uh, Saturday was a great day. Sunday, yeah, um, yeah, we're still on Sunday now. So, got into Great Yarmouth, walked down. Uh, like I say, half the shops weren't open. Some boarded up shops, whether they'll open, uh, you know, people will just buy, uh, rent them for the summer months. Possibly, yeah, possibly. Uh, pubs weren't open. I, I presume again that some of them have, have closed until April, uh, until it kicks in again the season. Um, so anyway, I did a bit of Googling, as you do, and I came across uh, Tombstone Brewery. And I, I w watched a couple of reviews on the, read a couple of reviews on TripAdvisor and all that. I don't really do TripAdvisor, uh, but uh, I don't need to. You know, I've got a more powerful voice than TripAdvisor, uh, at least for people who follow beer reviewers and beer, real fans of beer. Um... And yeah, the Dark Mild was uh, apparently the go-to beer. So anyway, we're following the old sat-nav. Fucking sat-navs are crap, aren't they? <laughs> they are crap. You follow me, you're like, fucking hell, just get the thing in the middle and, and show me the actual way. And we get to this edge and all of a sudden it's like, I said, I said to Andy, I said, I'm sure it's down this, this corridor here because it's looking like it is, but I'm not 100% because the stupid thing's not levelling. Anyway, we walk down. All the way to the end. Tootle ran to the side. And there it is, Tombstone Brewery. And I'm like, oh, is it open? And I thought, I can, I'm sure there's somebody in there. So I looked round for the door. The door was back where I just walked past. And I went to the door like that, put my hand on the door. And all of a sudden there was a roof. And I thought, great, dog friendly. It's like, yes. So now I'm walking away. And the bloke comes out and says, uh, did you want to come in? They're open. I says, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard your dog barking. I've got friends who've got a dog. We're just making sure it's dog friendly. I says, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Went in, spoke to the bloke behind the bar, the owner, and uh, lovely bloke, really knowledgeable. And uh, you know when you're talking beer? I'm absolutely in my world when I'm talking beer. Um, 
And obviously I've been a home brewer for 17 or 18 years, myself probably longer now, you know, um, a long while. Um, so, yeah, a long while, definitely. Way before I left, uh, even City Council, I was brewing my own beer. It was shite beer. You know, them cheapo £10 kits where it tastes shit. But I was brewing it. Uh, not like this. This is, this is, this is, this is, pub, this is brewery quality beer. For, for the price, you know, it's like amazing. Obviously, I don't pay VAT, I just pay for the kit. I'm not paying the government more, you know, to pull your pants down. But, uh, yeah. And we had a great time in there. Um, had a couple of pints, six art, six thirds. Uh, obviously, um, I'd have stopped, but, you know. I am I'm not dictated to, but the wife wanted to go back and find some shops because it's a Sunday. Shops close early. Uh, I didn't think they did. I didn't think they did in a seaside location. I thought they had laws in seaside where they can be open longer, uh, or they just ignore the bloody laws anyway. Um, I always thought they was open longer at seasides. Strange one. Um, but yeah, uh, went to find some shops, got the bits for the grandkids, and then and, and that. Um, but yeah, great time. And another reviews coming. A lot six beer reviews are coming. I have got literally a stack load of videos coming this this for the next two two to three weeks on the channel. Uh, I don't want to flood the channel with twenty Adnams beer reviews because it gets boring. You know, every day tapping in over to Adnams. <laughs> but uh, you'll see them coming in anyway. Uh, all one. I, like I say, in the pubs now, it's all cask reviews, one minute reviews, bish bash bosh reviews. When I'm at home, back in the shed, in the caravan, I couldn't talk for long. But people in the background, and I, I never feel as ease. I can't just say what I say. Because if I say something that I shouldn't have said, I'm getting the evil eye. <laughs> and uh, what was that you said? <laughs> Whether I meant to or not. But um, yeah, uh, and after that, went to. We went for the greatest carvery last night. I've never seen a carvery like it. Again, this review will come. Uh, Castle Carvery, uh, uh, free house. Uh, the beer, ghost ship, yeah. Ghost ship is nice, but when it's the only beer on, it's like, is that it? And I already reviewed it the day before, so I kind of gutted there, because I'd already reviewed it. But yeah. Um, but nonetheless, cracking beer. Um, so yeah, apart from the beer, but the food, wow. And I'll go into full details in that video. Uh, if you ever go into Case to on Sea and you're stopping there, then it's a must visit location for food. Food is good, staff are good. Uh, and like I said, the only thing that lets it down for me is the cask options. Plenty of lagers and stuff and ciders. Not still ciders, mind you, you know, first, sparkly fruity ciders but um yeah it, it is what it is you know um so today today um google told us bastards that um woodford's brewery was going to be open so anyway me we went for a, a breakfast in toby carver in toby carver um sat there thought there was a couple at the side of us and uh yeah uh girl with long hair and the bloke and again the girl with long hair spoke and uh it wasn't a female voice coming out of the girl with long hair's voice bless her you know we are what we are in this world um i'm not one to judge anyone but uh it has a bit early in the morning for that but yeah and she was actually quite pretty he or she i'm not sure but uh yeah um Food in Toby Carvery, this will make you laugh. I mean, we got there, we got there for nine o'clock. Well, about, we got there for ten to nine. We walked in, and um, anyway, they've got they've got the food there, and they got like a secondary pot of, and that's the bacon was going out, mono, and uh, we were like the seventh or eighth person in. And they're picking the bacon off, and the, and the blood, one of the lads, young lads before us, he'd lifted this lid up, pushed it over, bloody hot lid, mind you, and got some bacon out because the bacon was a bit more crispier. 
So we, we actually took from, I took some from, and then the chef comes in, puts the lid on the bacon, pushes it out of the way, and then he turns around and says, uh, yeah, the bacon, uh, just just letting you know, it's 15 minutes before the next lot of bacon comes out. So, you know, don't take too much. And it's like, hold on a minute. One, it's a Toby Carberry, or you can eat it. So you're telling people, don't take too much. Uh, that's not really for you. To, your job is really to, to provide. Not to turn around and say, and then he did the same on the eggs apparently. To the, after I had left, he turned around to them and says, Yeah, that's all the eggs they got, they're going to be in over 10 minutes. And it's like, Fucking hell. Um, and uh, yeah, the the uh, the chef, I don't know if he'd walked into some that anyone very happy, but he certainly didn't come across as a you know, uh, as the most humblest of uh, people. So we decided to go to Woodford's Brewery. Tapped into Google, opens at nine o'clock. I thought, oh great. So we tootled over, got there for, I think it was about 10 o'clock actually, quarter to 10, 10 o'clock. Drove into the car park, a few cars in the car park, walks over, this, uh, the, the pub next door is called the Fur and Feather. It's got the greatest thatch roof you'll ever see in your life. With pheasants and was it a fox somewhere on the on the roof you know uh cut into shape of this absolutely stunning you know amazing walks up to the door not open looks up at this why is it not open are they late are we early or something looks on the door opens at 12 o'clock google had got it wrong wife rang up in the car says excuse me we're just outside uh we looked on Google, it says it's open at nine o'clock, but we've come and it's not open. It says, yeah, it isn't open till 12. A little bit. Could somebody have come over for 10 minutes and opened up the shop, turned the till on and served us? Yeah, I think they could have done. You know, I think somebody, you know, in the office side of things could have said right someone's traveled this way my wife told him we were we just come from great yarmouth and we came here before we go to nottingham and and they didn't and uh, you know that perplexed me a little bit you know i get they're not open but i get they're on site you know i'd have gone in there i'd have spent 50 quid possibly more and it would have spent some money there were, there were two there were two kegs of adder that was slightly dented for 12 quid each. We'd have, we'd have had one of them each. And then I'd probably bought a couple of kegs for the mini beer festival that I'm doing. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. You know, a bit disappointed with them for that. But it is what it is. Um, the weekend itself, Norfolk and Suffolk, we had a great time, some amazing pubs. Breweries I've never been to before. Breweries that have just illuminated my horizons. Adnams was, you know, just amazing. Top Tombstone Brewery, again, uh, St. Peter's, Smiling Grape. Uh, the, some of the pubs we've been to. Woodford's, uh, you know, they may be busy. It's a Monday morning. You know, they may have shitloads of work to do. People have work to do. I get that. But that five minutes, that saying, look, uh, we're not we're not officially here to open up but if you come in i'll quickly open up if you can just be quick and then i can go back to my work that would have been amazing you know if it had been the other way around most breweries that i know of they would have actually done that uh, and i know a lot of local breweries some some there's one or two in nottingham that probably would turn you away so no we're not open but you know money's money in this day and age sales lost there uh which is sad i did pick up obviously <laughs> for the mini rag for the raggies mini beer festival adnam's broadside on mini keg 4.7 percent not 6.3 and from st peter's i've got plum porter at five percent yep somewhere along them lines it says it and i've also got their cream stout and again, super looking forward to reviewing them on the channel. Well, 
not reviewing them, opening them and getting people to uh, do reviews and uh, maybe set up an account uh, or, or do something, you know, oh, or maybe not do reviews, but, um, but uh, yeah, and uh, we'll have a little mini beer fest, a little mini beer comp on the day and for people to write down uh, out of five, you know, what was their best beer? Uh, they've had and uh, you know see what people think or maybe not because it's too much hassle and when you've had a drink you can't be bothered but uh, yeah that's free long way to go man I've got a possible two coming to me so uh, it's gonna be interesting so cheers all that was my weekend in Norfolk and Suffolk I've had a great weekend some massively fantastic breweries and shops uh, and apart from, you know, Google telling us bollocks, I could have gone to a different brewery. I could have gone to Wild Craft Brewing. So, and I would have gone there and I would have bought some beers from there because they've got some great beers. But the wife needed to get home uh, doing a cake. It's my grandson's birthday tomorrow. So, you know, time is of the essence. Uh, but like I say, lots of content coming on the channel. Lots uh, coming all around about Southwold and, uh, and Suffolk and Norfolk and, and some great beers from that part of the world. And it was great to get down there and uh, our travels on the channel. So for those who watch all, all the way in, you'll know this, but our travels on the channel. Uh, in October, we're going down to Dorset, Poole in Dorset. Never been. Uh, it's Badger Bear country as far as I know anyway. Um, next March we're going over to Cleefolds, which is great Newsome Brewery country. It's their part of the world. That was pretty sad in the summer. So definitely go in there, gonna get a full beer hall from there. Uh, and uh, and the proposed uh, spot for next for a year in October. That drift's still here. Uh, will be Tenby in South Wales, I think it is anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but a place called Tenby. So uh, so that is a beer with Raggy, a longer beer with Raggy, not alive. Uh, they will come back when, 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 you know. I think the old Guinness and that pissed me off. So that's why I, I bottled it and fucked it off. And, uh, and you know, it is what it is on that sometimes. Sometimes you take comments too much, and you, you know, best thing to do is just book and ignore them. But uh, hey ho. Uh, but yeah, cheers all. Hope you've had a great weekend yourselves. Um, like I say, can't uh, say to you any more about that area. If you've got the ability to go down and people swap in the driving, because there is a lot of driving involved. Uh, sometimes you can get buses, obviously, and especially at the moment, two pound each each way um but yeah it's well worth a trek around and and that's it for this beer with raggy i've had a great weekend i'm back to work tomorrow back into the grind and all that and uh, uh there are a lot of stuff coming on the channel i'm going to try and do one or two normal reviews per day uh, i've got a, a massive beer shelf now some some amazing box ticking beers look at that oak age broadside wow <laughs> got to review that bad boy um so yeah some great beers coming to the channel looking forward to it in any case thank you for watching see you soon